recipient of the prestigious African Woman in Europe Award for this year. She's an advocate, a tireless advocate for the Ghanaian community, an entrepreneur and mother of three. She is simply the founder of Guba Denta. My name is Denta and yes, I'm the founder of Guba Awards, which basically is about recognizing those people that are flying the flag for Ghana. We have people that are not necessarily Ghanaian, but they are building their businesses and everything in Ghana. And that's what Guba celebrates. It's about connecting the UK and Ghana. Guba also set up our foundation, which looks at supporting children with autism. In our community, we don't really understand what autism is. So Guba wants to raise that awareness to make sure that our African people understand what autism is about. Not that they're crazy kids or witchcraft, as our people would say it, but they're normal human beings that just need extra love. And Guba is about promoting that awareness. Britain has been, um, despite the colonial past of the fact that we've called them imperialists and all kinds of names, uh, we still cherish the British a lot. And that's why a lot of you are here. And I'd like to reassure you that I believe very strongly that your presence here in Britain is of great advantage to the people in Ghana. Because your achievements, your determination, the work that you do, and the fact that you still believe that you've got a home in Africa is a very, very, very important factor in the development and the progress of our dear nation Ghana. And so when someone who is an innovator, such as Denta, puts together an organization such as Guba, then it has to be supported 100%. Because then we know the value of the people, the human resource base of, of Ghana at home and abroad. And I'd like to tell you something. No nation has grown without having an immigrant population. Because it is that contribution that makes a country great. The fact that you can't do it all by yourself, you need other people to do it. 
So I'd like to thank all of you for coming. I'd like to congratulate all the nominees. I wish you the best, and I hope that in November I shall be here to witness the ceremony in itself. Thank you. God bless you. This great city is presided over by uh, Mayor Boris Johnson, who has sent us a message, and I'll read it out to you. Dear Gooba team, London's diversity is its strength, and the Gooba Awards showcase all that is great about this city. The awards celebrate the valuable cultural and economic contribution that the British Ghanaian community make to London, while also strengthening the Ghanaian voluntary and community sector, as we've just heard. The impact of the Goober Awards within the African community, supporting and encouraging growth in business, education, sports and entertainment, make it a deserving winner of the International Corporate Social Responsibility Excellence Award 2013. I hope that the awards are a fantastic success and would like to take this opportunity to extend my warmest good wishes to the Ghanaian community and all connected with the Gooba Awards. Yours sincerely, Alexander Boris de Peffel Johnson. One of the things that Gooba does is provide recognition. And there's a category, a special one, called the Community Champion Award. It's in recognition of key and very valuable services provided within the Ghanaian community. I've been a funeral director for 25 odd years uh, and had a working and good relationship with uh, Archbishop Frimpong for over 15. Oh gosh now, at least 10 years. Well over 10 years. I've known him for many years now. I've known the Archbishop for about 10 years and I remember the first time we came in contact, I was in school and at the verge of being excluded. I was the officiating uh, Bishop and Minister at uh, Bishop Fringpong, Archbishop Fringpong's consecration a year ago. He's actually the face of Ghana, I believe, in England, and he does a lot of work within the community, within the police. He's a chaplain in many di different capacities within the hospitals in Haringey. He's done great, invaluable work in Broadwater Farm. He's um, been a great support to bereaved families over these years. He's tireless in his efforts to support um, both financially and, you know, with his bereavement care, um, supporting these families through very hard times. I have always uh, seen him at gatherings such as dedications, child naming, and visiting the sick, visiting the needy. In their time of need, he would accompany them, he would go to the house, he would direct them, pick them up personally with his own vehicle, take them to the registrars, carry out all the registration documents. He fends for his tank, he fills his tank and just go to render all these services and most people do not even say thank you or even give him something for petrol or fill his tank. One key thing I've realised about Archbishop, he never judges any situation, he approaches it with compassion and really tries to understand the real true nature of what's happened and because of that he is great in his work and he's helped many people in the communities. I mean with uh, the Duncan case he was very hands-on um, as were other ministers but Bishop Frimpong, or Archbishop, or his bishop at the time, uh, assisted, you know, he would go to the house, um, have close relations with the Duncan family. I believe Archbishop Frimpong Manso deserved this award and I congratulate him. The Ghanaian community should acknowledge him even more and support the work that he's doing. We feel that for him to, serve, to collect this award would be a great honour to him and we certainly feel that it's very, very justified. I applaud it, I wish him all the very best and you know, thumbs up that he gets the award. God bless you, I pray he has a wonderful celebration and from myself, the members of the Ethiopian Church Council globally and also from the church in North London, we wish you all success and happiness and more onwards and upwards in your wonderful ecclesiastical career. God bless you. Archbishop Kweku Frimpong Mansu, the winner of the Google Community Champion 2013 Award. Please give him a huge parliamentary round of applause. A well deserved award for the great man of Ghana. The categories and final nominees are divided into four sections, and these sections represent the flag of the Republic of Ghana. 
Red is the business and enterprise section. Gold is popular culture. Green is community. And the recognition award section is the Black Star. Get ready, bring on the drums and roll out the red carpet. It's the most prestigious event on the British Ghanaian calendar. Gooba 2013. The fourth annual Ghana UK based achievement award ceremony will take place on Saturday 16th November 2013 at the luxurious four star Park Plaza Riverbank Hotel London SE17 TJ. Come network and celebrate the success of individuals and entrepreneurs emerging from the Ghanaian community at this star star Event. Tickets are £60 and include a three-course meal. Don't delay. Get your tickets today from www.gubaawards.co.uk or call 0759-599-1833. For sponsorship opportunities, contact marketing at gubaawards.co.uk. This event is sponsored and supported by RLG, Amajiro, Invest in Africa, Blavo & Co, MoneyGram, Ghana High Commission UK, British High Commission Ghana, Home Strings, Arik Air and Gamanka. Group. And don't forget the Goober Awards ceremony will be televised on ABM TV Sky 290.